Have you ever asked yourself why we seem to have so little time? Why we run without stopping? Why we are being constantly stressed? I don't know if you ever asked yourself that, but I did and I just think this is something like somehow a disease of the Western world because we seem always to be like in a constant hustle thinking about something about what we're gonna do in five minutes, what we're gonna do one day or in a week and we are really losing ourselves in this unhealthy routine of always stressing around and in the end we forget what really makes us happy at the moment. I think many of us or like a collective we are really often projecting the happiness into the future we think that we will be happy when we go to the gym and have the beautiful summer body we can parade around in our bikini. That I will finally be happy when I go on vacation because I don't have to work. I'll be happy when I can read my book after studying or after work. But this time never comes. I really think that being present in the moment and enjoying these little things and actions throughout the day. I think it can really help us to enjoy every day of our life and also reduce stress and anxiety. And this is why I called this video Living Mindfully because these are like these little mindful moments that I think are really important. So I used this term mindfulness in my title and originally mindfulness comes from the Buddhist tradition. It's a skill that you are developing through meditation. For me, it doesn't really have to be meditation. I tried meditation once, but I don't think this is really something for me. Like, for me, it's more like yoga because this is really similar to meditation it comes from the same environment. And for me, yoga makes much more sense because I then have really something present, something in the moment that I can focus on, like my breath and my body. And then my mind really doesn't wander off to other places because I have to focus on what I'm doing because either way, I don't know, I will lose my balance when I do my crow or something. So, so it really, yoga really helps me to concentrate on the moment because you have, when doing yoga, you feel the tension. You can enjoy the strength that you have and the strength that you build over time. And you also um, realize or you notice how your body is getting more released over time. So sometimes when I do shivasana, like at the end of the practice, I really wander off like quite often, but I don't think this is something bad because when your mind wanders off, it means this is maybe a thought that you have to deal with or that is really important to you. And I think then going back to this moment of self-awareness, being on the mat is much more powerful than not allowing yourself to wander out. And this is also a really mindful moment, I think. Hey. Another thing that helps me to be in the moment and be mindful is reading, because I think that when you are fully concentrating on a text, maybe non-fiction or fiction, I think both of them can be really captivating. Then when you really concentrate on a text, for me, it's like I'm very quickly in the state of mind of reading and nothing can bring me out of it. Like if I'm really reading for a long time, I have no distractions. Sometimes you just really have to work on that as well. Just put everything that will distract you from reading. But the longer you do that and the longer sessions you do, I think these distractions become really obsolete because you are really concentrating on the reading and this is something that you really wanna do. The reading really keeps you in the moment and for a while just forget everything around you. You are really just in the world of this book. Especially I think fiction is something that I really like to do because then you have to imagine what the text is about, what is the world it's telling you it is and then you're just absorbed by it. I think it's something really beautiful and that's why it really brings calm and peace into my life because this is like the very really opposite of like frantically looking on your phone or social media and scrolling the whole time because you really have to concentrate like a certain amount of time how long it may be maybe not a minute but a bit longer then you really have to concentrate on one thing and I think today we are so often on our phones on Netflix or on the internet and we just always like switching from one thing to the other, like every 10 seconds doing something else. And this is not something that can bring mindfulness and peace, I think, because then your brain has to think about so much things all the time and you are not enjoying the moment because you're 
all the time so many errors and you cannot bring the comments upon you of course i still check my phone quite often or i don't know if it's often or not but i still check my phone and it's not always easy to like choose the book instead of the phone because it requires mental effort when you're on the phone you don't have to think it's only passive and when you're reading a book you have to do something actively and your brain has to work but when i do i really am grateful that i chose reading if you really like to try to read more i also had a video a few months ago that i talked about how I managed to read more in my everyday life and if you're interested go watch it I will link it up here and in the description box below I think this is really helpful if you really want to start to read more during your day Another thing are walks and I think this is something really beautiful that I discovered last year during pandemic and I didn't really have had on other options to do um, instead of walking then you really recognize all the things around you recognize the people you recognize the animals that you see like dog or the cow on the um, on the meadow and you recognize the nature they have around and you really see that it's very beautiful and this was like a light bulb you know like here that was like a light bulb for me that I am so I'm living so long in this area and I didn't recognize so many things that are so beautiful. Then you're really like in the moment and enjoying what is around. And I think there are three different ways that I like to like say, practice walks. One thing is you can really spend or you can go on a walk with your friends or family and then it's really like also the quality time with really close people when you can talk and be in the city or in nature. But I also really like to go on walks alone. Then I also like to take my camera with me or my phone and just, just for the purpose to make pictures because I guess when you walk around and you really try to be in the moment and you really try to recognize everything, you will see so many things and <laughs> I just cannot go there and not make photos. The third thing is that I also really like to go on walks my earbuds in and putting on a music that I really really like and then you just feel like the main character in a movie and this is a really great feeling this is really like a mood booster if you haven't tried that you really have to do that because this makes you feel like 100% better what I also really like to do is journaling and I really, write, really like to write in my journal thoughts that I had about a day, about a moment or an experience and these are sometimes really good thoughts sometimes these are bad thoughts but I think Writing things down um, is really helpful, it's quite therapeutic and it really helps you to get out all the thoughts that you have because when you're clouding your mind, you I cannot concentrate then if I have so many thoughts but if I write them down, they really are gone like I just do this and then I can do something else because I don't have to think or stress about these thoughts and it's really helpful to get things off your mind and you don't have to like, this is not for the purpose that you read the things that you wrote. Just the action of writing down is really, really helpful. All the things that I'm talking about here is, I think these are things that are really personal and things that for everyone is a different. Because everyone has different preferences, everyone has different hobbies. But for me, another thing is also cooking or baking, because I really enjoy doing that. And I really like to celebrate moment of making breakfast or cooking dinner first of all it really makes fun and i really think this is also like mindful eating somehow if you really look if this is healthy and not just take something from the fridge and eat something because you don't have the mood or you don't have the energy to cook something and i really think i i need that that mindfulness about cooking and eating because we are human so we need to eat several times a day to survive and if you imagine that we are doing this our whole life, thousands of years, and you do this every day. And if you really hate doing that and you don't enjoy this this process, the process has to be beautiful. And this, if this process isn't beautiful, I cannot enjoy eating because then it's just like eating something and then it's really gonna suck, I think. I already mentioned that um, spending time with friends is really important for everyone, I guess. But this really sad somehow is that every 
like nowadays it seems that everyone is on the phone all the time like I mean, maybe not be true for everyone when you are really enjoying the company of the people that you are with you are not going to check your phone all the time and be somewhere else you know like on instagram or something maybe you have to reply to someone really quickly or something because it's urgent but in general i think when you really have a quality time with people you just forget to do that like i forget to do that and i also forget to do like insta stories even though i maybe feel a little bit obligated to do that but this is also like really quality time really mindful time that you spend talking with others that you really like and it's not meant to be a time when that you spend on a platform on social media with other people because you are with them Right? So I think nowadays it's really important to also keep that in mind, to see really the benefit of being with people live. Also I think that being with someone in silence is has something meditative because you know you are in this moment with this person that if they're somewhere or the people are somewhere but you cannot really drift off with your thoughts and you can come up with new thoughts or new ideas and but you somehow don't forget that you're here. I guess. But I think this is really, really nice sometimes. Another thing is also that, maybe this is just like a personal thing, but tidying up or decluttering is really a mindful process as well because first of all, I really like to have a clean environment and then you have really like a peace of mind when no nothing is laying about and nothing is distracting your eyes. I'm really peaceful and I'm really calm. But when it's not it's not so good. So I really like to tidy up all the things and also decluttering. When you declutter, you really have to be mindful about the things. You don't want to keep everything because it's going to clutter your space, but you also don't want to get rid of it like unsustainably. And I also did a video about this, how I declutter mindfully. And if you're interested, I will just link it up here and in the description box. But getting back to the video, I just think like if you know what your things are and where the place is, where they are, I think you are much more mindful about your belongings and the space is much more mindful and and this is in a really strong relation and then you also have when you declutter and have less things like hashtag minimalism it's also you don't have to care about so much and this also provides to having less stress for me because I know I don't have to clean that much because I don't have to shift everything on my shelf or something like this so I really think that giving yourself the opportunity to implement things that you really like to do or you know that really brings your mind to the present moment. This is really important to put them into your day or try to do them every day on several occasions, how short they might be, because this is really this is really beneficial for you. So I realized since I started to live more in the moment, I'm much more grateful about the things that I can do, that I see around me, that I can taste. Therefore, it's much easier for me to be balanced and calm and like resilient because then if I have these little moments throughout my day that I can do that brings me calm there are not so many things or much less things that brings me out of my balance that I don't have any influence on because there will always be something that you can control that is out of your hands and these are just things that you have to absorb or deal with and if it stresses you out too much because you don't have this inner calmness it's really difficult then to stay in this really mindful moment and of course I still struggle with stress and anxieties at times and I really see that when I don't do these little things that really help me then I'm in this anxiety stress period. It doesn't pay up to be in a rush all the time even though I may want to see do and to learn everything or really a lot of things but Sometimes there's just, just not enough motivation to do that and because I'm stressed. It really seems sometimes that I don't have enough time in my life to do everything I want. And I think that when you give yourself these little moments, it really requires me to make thoughtful decisions, what to do. And it really helps me to make the decisions that will make me more happy and to see what is not essential at all. I guess everyone needs the time for themselves. And when I know that throughout the day, I'm going to take this time to care about myself, to care about my mind. And it really makes my life more peaceful and more calm because I know that I will have this time that I dedicated for myself to take this time for me. It's also important to, I really, I'm really like an ambassador for taking your time for yourself because this is something really important if you want to get to know yourself better and also to be able to make decisions because when you don't know yourself, you will not be able to make decisions. 
and I'm not saying that I'm perfect or something, that I'm perfect at doing decisions or that I know everything about myself like 100% it's not like that but somewhere we have to start and I think the sooner you start the better for your self-esteem and your self-confidence so on the end note I just wanted to add that I think that when you are constantly on the go constantly thinking about something and constantly trying to do something it's not something that is sustainable in the long run because you cannot do things all the time and you will only do things that you want to do like work or studying or whatever requires like your input you will only do it half as well when you don't do any breaks and that's why I really think that these mindful breaks throughout the day are really really important to, to go on with your life to be productive, whatever this word means. I'm not sure this is really the great, the greatest description of what I mean, but I think if you do breaks, these breaks should be mindful, or at least try to be mindful and try to be like good for you. And bringing this awareness to the present moment really brings calmness and helps me to enjoy my life and every minute of it. Life is just too beautiful to not see that thing when you're mine. Alright guys, I hope you like this video and if you want to see more of like deep talks and mindfulness, subscribe to my channel. Um, I would really appreciate it and I hope I would see you in the next video. Bye!